I'm Marty Marshall. Uh, I'm the EMS director here at Enlo Medical Center, also the program director for Enlo Flight Care. I came to Chico in 1985 when we uh, launched the flight care program here at Enlo Medical Center. Hi, my name is Neil Klein. I'm a nurse here with Enlo Flight Care. I've been flying with Enlo Flight Care for 30 years. I've transported over right around 3,500 patients. My name is Jenny Humphreys. I'm also a flight nurse here with Enlo Flight Care. I've flown with the program for six years and have flown just under 700 patients. For the past 30 years, we've operated AS350 BA and B2 ASARs, and they've been a wonderful aircraft. We've flown over 16,000 patients in that period of time. We looked at the EC-130, and at decision time, it became pretty clear that the T2 offered a lot of advantages. They perform very well in our operating environment here, where we're surrounded by pretty high mountains in the Sierra and high density altitudes in the valley during the summer, the very hot summer. We watched as they developed the project, they came out with the dual sliding doors, which were attractive to our program because of the way we use our flight crews to clear the tail rotor in very tight landing zones. And some of our um, tighter scene work that we do here, on a couple occasions, we have exercised the ability to open both of these sliding doors so that the crew members can help clear that LZ for the pilot to get us into our patient. And that was something I hadn't really thought about till we were able to exercise that option. And it's something that really is e extremely helpful. One of the things we have to deal with is that we have these very high temperatures uh, in the summer. And from what we understood, this was actually an air conditioner with a helicopter built around it. So that was very important to us, to have that environmental control system that would keep the crew and the patients comfortable in the very hot and high temperatures. The size of the cabin in this T2 is, is a huge advantage. The workspace for the crew, where they're able to actually access the patient, move the patient around so that they have the best access to the patient. We also have the ability to move the patient around in flight if we need to better our access to them. Now we really can access them from the tips of their toes clear to the top of their head. And we have a lot of fore and aft flexibility as well as to the left, the right, and some rotation. So if we need to change our plan mid-flight, what would have been a precautionary medical landing to access the patient now happens while we're still en route to the hospital. One of the other things that is advantageous in this aircraft with so much room is OB patients. Um, not only can you get down to uh, assess their, uh, their belly, but with this aircraft you can also use the uh, electronic stethoscope to check fetal heart trauma. One of the drawbacks over the past 30 years is we've not been able to carry a mother or a father or a family member along with a, a pediatric patient or a neonate patient. We've also not been able to transport neonate patients in an isolate for the last 20 years or so. With this ship, there's enough room for the isolate, there's enough room for a NICU nurse if we need to take one. Uh, if the need calls for it, there's room for a balloon pump for our cardiac transports. There's enough room for multiple pumps for very complex patients. This loading system really, once you get the weight of the patient on the deck, uh, one person with a reasonably sized patient can get the patient loaded easily with just two hands and without really a whole lot of work. Um, with that being said, for our larger patients, we have recently, even within the last month or so, had several patients we flew that um, none of our surrounding programs could accommodate their size. Being able to easily accommodate a bariatric patient with really no limitation is definitely an advantage that this aircraft provides. Another complex critical care patients on a ventilator, on multiple pumps, um, the ability to take that, that seat out and give more access uh, in the head area while you move that patient in. It reduces the risk of extubating a patient. It reduces the risk of pulling lines out. It's simple, we, the pilot just pulls it in and out really fast. It takes no time at all and just gives even more room um, inside the ship. There are just so many incremental improvements that we've come to appreciate. It's an industrial strength aircraft uh, with very light components. Material has been removed wherever it could be moved. With regard to the vibration and the active vibration reduction system, when our patients have fractures and painful areas, abdominal pain, any kind of movement for them you know, is excruciating. So to be able to reduce the vibration that they feel, and also with the increased cabin space, you don't run the risk of having a fractured extremity up against the airframe, and when that happens, that really can be damaging to the tissues around the fracture as well as the patient, um, their pain. Comfort level. Yeah. Everybody, whether it's the pilots, the flight crew, or the patients, love this aircraft. You have wonderful visibility. The fit and finish is just exceptional. 
Everything was designed from the ground up to be perfect for our mission here at Flight Care. As a single ship VFR operator working in hot and high environments with very large patients in very demanding situations, this aircraft is as perfect as we could get. It actually is ideal. I can't think of any one thing that I would actually change in this aircraft, and that's, that's saying something. This is one of those few uh, instances where it actually exceeded our expectations to a great extent. All of the pilots are excited about this aircraft. They universally love it. The crews love it, and like I said, the patients love it.